The relationship between South Africa and Russia stems from a long time ago when Russia assisted South Africa to fight for its freedom. This relationship has stood the test of time, even at the height of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, when it was a risk for South Africa to associate itself with Russia. The two countries have very little trade between them. According to data released by the Observation for Economic Complexity, the trade between the two countries before 2020 amounted or averaged to about $506 million. But what do South Africans say about this relationship? I know that Russia back in the days, it backed the ANC. It helped in getting some activists to study in Russia, like doctors and engineers. And also it had something to do with funding. And they used to send some of their products like cooking utensils, you know, like even farming utensils, yeah, things like that. Uh, the relationship between South Africa and Russia is no longer relevant. Uh, we see the other marriages, it also includes BRICS. But then personally with Russia, we are not, as South Africans, we are not benefiting anything, whether be it in business, economy, culturally, anywhere else, we are not benefiting. We don't have any trade relationship with Russia. If it's there, it's next to zero. So, you know, as a country, we need to start uh, uh, really looking at the relationship we have with countries. Even though uh, Russia is not helping us that much, but then uh, we shouldn't dump them or leave them aside. Instead, we should also help them because they also have the necessary needs that we need. Uh, for instance, the, the military, they, they also have the, the military equipment, uh, military forces. So we should also try to engage with them just to get help uh, based on military and based on other trainings that we need. This relationship has strained relations between South Africa and the West. But on its side, South Africa says it loves both and there's nothing wrong with that. Tuso Kumalo for VOA News, Johannesburg.